Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another Dishonored 2 video. Now, once again, this is being made in partnership with the guys over at Bethesda. I went down to their studio the other week, had a chance to record some gameplay for you guys. And last week, I uploaded the first video, which you guys have hopefully seen by now. That is the Corvo gameplay of the Clockwork Mansion mission. And today, we're back in the Clockwork Mansion, this time playing as Emily. So if you guys saw the last video, then the setting will be the same. The mission is identical. We are once again in a portion of Chapter 4. For those of you guys trying to avoid spoilers... This is a completely spoiler-free playthrough. We're dropping into Chapter 4 partway through, so, you know, how we got there and what happens afterwards remains a mystery. So if you are trying to kind of keep the game fresh, then this should be safe for you to watch. This is largely just a gameplay video. But in this video, as mentioned, I want to show you guys a different way to play because we're playing as Emily. There are two playable characters in Dishonored 2. Corvo, who, of course, you'll be very familiar with if you played the first one, and Emily, who has her own unique way to play. So if you do enjoy this, then like would be super appreciated. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to Dishonored 2. And also let me know if you guys have seen the other video, which character you think you would like to play as the most. Also, much like last time, I will be letting you guys watch the rest of this video without me talking over, but I do want to set the scene first. So as mentioned, we're in Clockwork Mansion. There are two main objectives here. First of which is to rescue a target who is in the basement. Second of which is to eliminate a target. And there are loads of different ways to eliminate the target. So if you guys did see the last video, then you'll know we basically went for the kind of pretty standard, just killed him outright. But this time around, I am going to aim for a slightly more inventive approach. I'm not going to give you any spoilers. If you want to find out how that plans out, then stick around till the end. But what I do want to speak about quickly is Emily. So in terms of equipment, her equipment is the same as Corvo. So she has, you know, regular bullets, explosive bullets, grenades, stun mines, sleep darts, crossbow bolts, all that stuff. However, where she differs is in her abilities. Her first of which is Shadow Walk, where she assumes a stealthier form, which is kind of like this sort of creepy shadowy thing you walk around on all fours and it allows you to sneak past enemies which is of course very useful if you're trying to go for those stealthier playthroughs plus you can assassinate people in this form so you can sneak up behind them and get an easy kill which is of course really useful in a mission like this when you're also being pursued by clockwork soldiers that track you by sound and sight your second ability is basically emily's version of corvo's blink this time around it's called far reach instead of just blinking to a target you actually pull yourself there. So see it kind of like a shadow grappling hook. The cool thing about this is you can use it both ways. So you can use it to pull targets towards you and you can use it to pull yourself towards targets. And of course you can also use it to climb up to higher places. But this is basically, as mentioned, Emily's version of Blink. And the last one, this is really, really cool. Again, especially if you go for those stealthy playthroughs, you have Domino, where you can link human targets so that they fall unconscious together. And what that basically means is if you link them and you then use something like a sleep dart, then when you put one of them to sleep, they will both be affected by the status. You'll see that in this video. It's really cool. Definitely useful, as mentioned, for stealth playthroughs. And if you're trying to conserve your ammo, for example, in this demo, I only have five sleep darts. So that means I can basically get 10 targets out of five dots. Of course, there are more abilities available. And when you dive into the menu and as you progress through the game, you will unlock more abilities. But for the purposes of this gameplay, those were the three abilities available to me. Now... The only other thing I do want to speak about, there's one thing I'm going to be doing in this video and you guys might be thinking, what are you doing, is the clockwork soldiers that track you in this mission. If you saw the last gameplay when I played as Corvo, I did a lot of kind of shooting their heads off because if you shoot their heads off, they can no longer track you by sight. They can only track you by sound, which allows you to then move silently and it will then result in them killing guards and enemies because they can't discern between good and bad. What you can also do, however, if you don't want to shoot their head off, is if you sneak to the side of them, they have a satchel that hangs down, and you can actually hack the soldier and turn it on your side, so that way you don't have to shoot his head off. You can actually make it fight for you, and it'll follow you around, and it's really, really useful. So if you see at any time me running around in circles around a soldier, then it's probably because I'm trying to hack it. So bear with me, but that is basically what's going on. So that, for the most part, is all I really want to sort of share with you guys. That should give you some context for what you're going to see in this episode so for the remainder of it then i will just let you enjoy the video so if you do again let me know your thoughts in the comments down below let me know which of the characters you are most looking forward to playing as and thanks for watching take it easy catch you next time peace out running search protocol unauthorized presence know that your last moment the last visual Combat protocol me. Or my precious work reduced to 
made this place for luxury and spectacle, I suppose, but it's more than that. This place is a testament to engineering itself. The machine sees someone behind it. on its own if a fight breaks out. They're blind, but they can still hear. Creepy to know they might be listening to us. Make a note. We'll play back after the final field test. Playback for detection registered. General detection state. When this plays, Check central rotor. Running the search back protocol. protocol. Six. What was that? Playback for combat protocol. No. Combat it's protocol. A test for the clockwork soldiers. Each makes them better. In the end. Goosebumps all the way. This isn't. I think I. Ah, be careful. This was devised to test the limits of the clockwork soldiers. Quite dangerous. If you're really looking for Sokolov, that old nag. strength. I came to take you out of here. Jendosh has bigger plans than you know. An army of his clockwork soldiers. It would be the end. I'm going to visit Jindosh too, old friend. to take Sokolov back to the carriage before confronting Jindosh.
on, let's finish this. Okay. At least Anton is safe. Now, for Jindosh. I suppose Sokolov is now safe and sound. And yet here you are again, back from the war of detection state. Unauthorized <laughs> Combat protocol six. The machine has lost its quarry. Static discharge. Stand clear.
Combat protocol six. Trigger electrostatic. Say something's amiss, then, then I just can't get comfortable. Oh! <laughs> 